So, I did this video, I want to say it was around the time I started doing it. Uh, it was around the time I think I was starting on YouTube, but I had originally begun doing videos on BitChute. But it turns out I hadn't done this video for YouTuber Austin, and I can't get it back now because I lost the original thing. But anyway, um, in celebration of my stepdad apparently getting into Sabaton, I want to talk about Sabaton, which is an awesome band. If you haven't heard of them, they are a Swedish group, really good at vocals. And the thing I probably appreciate the most about this band is that they take something I love, which is history. Like, I find history immensely fascinating. Like, I love learning about people like Vlad the Impaler or Queen Elizabeth I or Sir Francis Strait. Like, it can be ra any random thing I like. And some things I've gotten into because of Sabaton, like uh, Carolus Rex, who was this... Uh, you're a badass or a jackass, depending on who you ask, I guess. But um, they have had some really good songs. Like my favorite one is probably "The Red Baron," which is about, as you would guess, the Red Baron, like Manfred von whatever his last name was. Like uh, I'm not good at crowd last names, but anyway, a good band. They do a variety of genres: metal, punk, like. It's very off the cuff with what they do. Like they've even done a song about uh, 300. Like go ahead and listen to that song. It sounds like something you would hear in the 300 movie because, like, even one of the guys who worked on the song, he said when he came in and heard it, he was like, "This sounds like it belongs in the 300 movie." Because you have the ooh, ah, ooh, ah, <laughs> and that probably sounded weird coming from me, but fuck it, I'm keeping it in. Um, yeah, just a good band. If you haven't, I would highly recommend trying it out. Like, especially their latest album. I believe it's the War to End All Wars. I like that one mostly for the Unkillable Soldier song. Which, if you don't know what that is, um, there was this guy, Adrian De Kampf, maybe Belgian and Irish, bunch of other shit. Um, this man lost a hand, got shot in the nuts. Got shot in the head and lost an eye. He kept on fighting. This was during World War One and the Boer Wars. He then went on to participate in World War Two. The man was crazy. Like he said, frankly, I enjoyed the war. Like, he was nuts. He was crazy. He was, <laughs> and I, I'm like, God bless this man. But you had that song. You had another song called "The Christmas Truce," which was about the Christmas truce, which is really a sad event to learn about. Like they didn't tell me this in high school or college, but fucking hell, is it depressing? But it's very heartwarming and kind of heartbreaking. Also, you also had the "Soldier of Heaven" song, which was about these guys who were in the Alps of, I think, Italy. During World War One, they couldn't take out the soldiers, so they settled for shooting the mountains and causing an avalanche. Some of those fucking soldiers are still in that mountain. They haven't been found to this day. And you have a song about them called Soldier of Heaven, which the song itself is awesome. The video is kind of tear, a tearjerker for me. But really, a good band. If you haven't, check them out. They are awesome. And... Like, they also have a song about the end of the samurai, uh, Shiro Yama, I believe. Can't remember the exact title. But yeah, good band. If you haven't checked them out, I will probably leave a list of their songs in the description because, well, fuck it, I got nothing better to do. But anyway, have a nice day, and remember the game was rigged from the start.